In this video, we'll talk about how to change the surface representation of your VSP model. Now here you can see that we have the default view that's wireframe, and this is just the external wireframe that defines all of the components in the model that you have shown right now. Over here in the geometry browser, you can see that we can choose wire, and that's what this view represents. If we select all of our components and go to a hidden view, you'll notice that we still have this wireframe view, but all of the surfaces are now opaque, and you can kind of see what the surface tessellation looks like a little bit better. You can also almost make out where these intersections would be if you were to mesh this model up. Now, there are other views. If we select all and choose shade, that applies the material color that you've chosen for your aircraft to all of them at once. Now, notice we keep choosing select all, and in the group modifications tab, we can change all of these materials at once. And there are even transparent materials in VSP that allow you to see through them to say internal components. For right now, let's take everything back to default and notice that you can choose a single component under the general tab and change the materials independently. So you can quickly set up a variety of colors in a variety of representations for different parts in the model so that you can color code them, tag them, keep them separated and easily identify what's what inside your model. Now there's another interesting and useful feature of a surface representation which is none. If we select all the components and choose none, now we have only those feature lines that define the outer boundaries of the components. And you might wonder why you need that. If we jump to a top view, you'll see that we have a very quick outer mold line of the top view plan form of this aircraft. If we choose a front view or a side view, we can get the same layout. Now this is simply a line drawing using the feature lines available to you in the model. Now these can be screen captured and export to a figure so that you can compare an outer mold line or a plan form between vehicles very quickly without all the wireframe or the surface colors getting in the way. So you can kind of see here that you have the airfoil at the root and the airfoil at the tip clearly visible in this drawing. For right now, let's go ahead and select all and shade again. And there's another interesting feature here where we can turn off these feature lines and notice that they're all clearly gone. And all we have is that material representation on the surface of the vehicle without the black lines. Now, this model looks even cleaner than it did before, and you can start to come up with ways of making interesting little material combinations so that the vehicle looks very smooth and very clean for figures and papers or presentations.